Hello, today we are going to learn about blocking exercise. Finger dropping exercises are important for maintaining hand mobility and preventing development of tendon addition in post-operative hand injury patients. Examples of finger exercises include tabletop exercise, PIP blocking exercise, straight fist, DIP blocking exercise, hook fist and fist exercise. These exercises can benefit many conditions such as trigger finger, cubital tunnel syndrome, repetition contraction, mallet finger or broken finger. Now, what is blocking exercise? Blocking exercise are rehab exercise that involve isolating certain figure or thumb joint. According to Ethan Hand, tendon addition is the most common problem following tendon repair. And finger blocking exercise are specifically designed to prevent this complication. Blocking exercise is a useful procedure after tendon repair. So, what happened during blocking exercise? During this procedure, the FTS tendon is blocked while the FTP tendon is promoted. As a result, relative displacement between FTP and FTS is facilitated to gain tendon gliding and to inhibit addition. Next, let's look at the purpose of blocking exercise. The aim of blocking exercise is first to prevent surgery complication and restore strength. Second, to restore range of motion and prevent stiffness and lastly to relieve pain and regain mobility. To add, finger exercise also can improve function, can ensure adequate gliding of muscle and ligament, to reduce pain, to prevent deformity and contracture, to strengthen and stabilize the hand and to maintain movement of the joint. Let's look at the intervention procedure of blocking exercise. The first one is the IP joint blocking. First of all, with your opposite hand, grab and stabilize the affected finger at the middle section just below the DIP joint. Second, actively flex and extend the finger at the end joint for about 2 to 3 seconds. Third, hold the rest of your finger in extension. And four, repeat for each finger individually. For the procedure of PIP and MCP joint, you can follow the same procedure as the IP joint. Next, for IP joint blocking, First, with your opposite hand, grab and stabilize the affected thumb at the base just below the IP joint. Second, flex and extend the thumb at the IP joint for about 2 to 3 seconds. Next, for the reverse blocking exercise, first, begin with your elbow supported. Second, keep your involved hand relaxed and use your other hand to gently flex the MCP joint to 90 degrees. Third, while maintaining this position, extend the IP and PIP joint of all of your fingers. And four, hold this position for about 10 seconds and then you can relax your finger to your palm. Now, let's look at some exercise tips. First, you can start with performing 10 repetitions for 3 times a day. Second, you need to perform gently and deliberately. And lastly, please consult your doctor or therapist if you ever experience pain or tenderness while doing this exercise. Next, for the grading of the intervention, first, you can increase the number of repetition or set. Second, increase time or duration of the activity. And third, increase the frequency of the activity. Finger blocking exercises are proven to help the gliding of the flexor and extensor tendon of the finger and also improve your grip. And when used as a part of rehab, the exercise can strengthen restore range of motion and also prevent stiffness. 
PIP and DIP joint blocking exercise along with various tendon gliding exercise will enhance tendon motion. This will result in greater tendon motion and less tendon restriction. In another journal, blocking exercise along with tendon gliding exercise are said to benefit the patient in terms of improving their motion within several weeks. Following the latest 2019 journal, blocking exercise can enhance tendon glide and prevent tissue adherence by improving flexion at one joint at a time. To conclude, blocking exercise might help patients in recovering faster after surgery. Blocking exercise also may aid in the gliding of the flexor and extensor tendon as well as improving grip strength.